Hi everybody and welcome to Mumdas Life Fan Meet. I'm looking pretty relaxed and confident because I just finished my this month's project for Useful DIY Challenge. Welcome all to Useful DIY Challenge April 2019 edition. And thank you so much Denise Jordan for hosting this challenge this month with me. I really appreciate your support. Thank you all the creators, all the creative creators who have come up with their DIYs for this month's challenge. Thanks for joining in. This month's challenge theme is Old Turns New. It's the month of April, the month for Easter. It's the month where spring is here. So old things turn new. That's the theme this month. So we were supposed to pick something old from our home, thrifted, trash, anywhere and give it a new life, do some DIY and give it that mm, glam factor. So I have done my project and I'm here to show you what I did. There is a playlist, the link is given in the description box below where you can add your videos and watch other creators videos, what they have come up with. I'm really excited. So the playlist link is given in the description box, don't forget to check that out, it's going to be really exciting. And if you love DIY, decor, home, everything in a budget, do subscribe to my channel. The next month's May's Useful DIY Challenge Invite is coming pretty soon. And I plan to start a monthly series of sew and recipe related videos. So do subscribe to my channel and jump, hit the notification bell so that you're notified each time I post a video. So let's see, what did I pick up? What old thing did I pick up and gave it up? I love it. A gorgeous look for this month's useful DIY challenge. You might be familiar with this little sitting arrangement in my living room and might have seen it in many of the videos. So if you know me, you would know that we need to move every three years and live in uh, rental apartments provided by the authorities and so we need to carry our storage boxes we don't discard them because we need them every three years almost and my storage boxes are all labeled with a name and there is always a box number given so that I can uh, list out and know what is in which box I just made up of solid wood strong wood and we give it a pay, coat of paint and insecticide spray every uh, time we shift so that the contents inside it stay safe and the box also stays safe from termites. I use this box to store my stash of fabrics for few projects. There are so many fabrics. Every time I see a good fabric, I tend to keep it and uh, sometimes make some pretty pretty items out of them lovely indigo printed fabric this is a lovely lemon and watermelon print so there are lots of fabric stash here some go in some come out and I keep them now regarding this box I always keep it covered with a cushion but I wanted to make something more out of it but I want the name and the number on the front to stay because I'll be using it so I'm going to turn this box around and use the back side for decoration I found from the net the image clip art image of a stamp a vintage stamp enlarged it to about half the A4 size paper and printed it out on a normal paper now to give it a more authentic look, I've taken a coin and I'm going to mark the coin like markings on it. And then cut it out.
So here is the cutout of the stamp and I added some old vintage soft pastel colors, aquamarine or patina blue green color, some pale yellow, some dull pink and on the scalloped or reverse scalloped edges I added some yellow to give it that old vintage look which comes with age, which comes with repetitive varnish and lot of use. So here is my vintage stamp. So I have turned my box the other side and cleaned it well, dusted it well and this is the portion I'll be working on. I pasted my stamp over the back side of the box using a strong PVA glue. One can even use a good Mod Podge. Next I sealed fixed my stamp over this wooden box using more of PVA glue. Because it's wood, I prefer to use PVA glue instead of Mod Podge for sealing my stamp as well as sticking it neatly over it. Now my stamp will stay protected from any water or any other wear and tear. I used a white color pencil to make all the markings that I wanted to do on this box including the names and the stamps. And I used what I had at hand to make the circles, some plates, some box containers, anything. Now as you see, I have marked my stamps, uh, the written text, everything on this box with the white pencil color. Uh, this gives me confidence because the white pencil color can be erased and uh, changes can be made. So now once I have already marked what I have to make. I have this habit of making a mistake with my spellings whenever I directly hand it so I always prefer to do it once with pencil before I start with my paint. So I'm going to use white acrylic paint and do these. Now here is how everything looks after the painting. If you can appreciate, I have even added uh, black over the stamp. A stamp is never authentic unless it has been stamped over. So I used a black marker pen to make these details. Now at this point where the lid would open, I'll take a blade and sharp one and just cut through it. So when I open the box, this would not get spoiled. So honestly, I feel very proud of the outcome. I'm really loving this. This piece has turned out one gorgeous statement piece. Don't you agree? The stamp looks so authentic. There is a stamp from uh, 
two places because it has been shipped from one place to another and I love how this just turned out this piece is looking so gorgeous so shabby chic so vintage so so much of uh, like a piece of history this is gorgeous I love this and this is going to be one statement piece of sitting in my home thanks again to all the creators who have joined this challenge and inspired us for many more things to try we all move we all think out of our box and push our limits a little further and try something new inspire each other learn from each other that's what is useful diy challenge for thank you all for watching thank you for participating and see you all very soon in my next diy if you love diy if you love to do things on your own learn things something new do subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell the next useful diy challenge invite is coming pretty soon so Watch out. Take care.